Welcome to Channel to Chaos. Today we're going to learn more types of variables in programming in C. Now previously we learned something called integer. So integer are basically whole numbers which starts from minus infinite and finish into positive infinite but does not contain a decimal number, a decimal fraction. Anything decimal value is not allowed in integer. So I'm just going to recap this. Let's say we have an integer number alright and the number is equals to Five. All right, and I now I have assigned five to the variable number. Now, what if I want to store, let's say, five point zero two? All right, I want to store this. So, in order to store this particular value, which contains a decimal point, we need to use something, some other kind of data type. Those data type are float and double. Now, these two data type does the exact same function just that the double consumes a little bit more memory than float alright so let's see if you want to store this value now before I get into that if I print this value alright using an integer what it would print is the whole number it would not print the decimal point so let me just show it to you if I run the program you will see that it does not print print point two zero two why because it only prints whole numbers so but if we change this to float okay the only change I've done over here is change the data type from integer to float now since this is a float you cannot keep the percent I you need to change the percent I to something called the percent F why do we change that because I stands for integer and that's how the the printf functions knows when to print what kind of data type since I'm printing a float I need to specify that it's a percent F you cannot specify a percent i it would give you an error okay i run the program and you will see that it prints the decimal number you will see that there are many zeros in the suffix and that's normal you can change that you can modify this using different kind of modifiers of printf you can do a lot of stuff with that that's something we're going to learn in the future so basically that's how you store a particular number that contains a decimal point in a variable, okay, using a float. Double is the same as I told you, it does the same task. You can use a float or a double, doesn't matter. Just double does a little more functions than float and consumes a little bit more memory than float. That's all the only difference between them. So, anyway, this has been the channel of Dr. Chaos. I hope you like this video. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Welcome to the channel of Dr. Chaos. Today, we're going to learn more types of variables in programming in C. Now previously we learned something called integer. So integer are basically whole numbers which starts from minus infinite and finish into positive infinite but does not contain a decimal number, a decimal fraction. Anything decimal value is not allowed in integer. So I'm just going to recap this. Let's say we have an integer number all right, and the number is equal to 5. All right, and I now I have assigned 5 to the variable number. Now what if I want to store let's say 5.02 alright I want to store this. So in order to store this particular value which contains a decimal point we need to use something some other kind of data type. Those data type are float and double. Now these two data type does the exact same function just that the double consumes a little bit more memory than float alright so let's see if you want to store this value. Now, before I get into that, if I print this value, 